Have you ever heard of a generational curse? If you're a new Christian, that might be a new concept to you. A generational curse is something that one of your ancestors did in sin that has had consequences, major, major consequences on your entire life. And that might sound silly to you, but I'm going to tell you one. This is the first time I've confessed this in public. I never met my mother's father, my blood grandfather. I never met him in my life. Um, and he was alive, but I never met him because he molested his children. My mother was molested by her own father. And the consequence of that, the consequence of what you ask, of that man entertaining the lust of his flesh, which is a sin. That man entertained all of the lusts of his flesh. He chased after dopamine. Yeah, maybe it didn't get discovered until the last hundred years, but it was invented before time began because dopamine is a molecule that God made and it is the thing that causes a reprobate mind. That It's what causes a person, you've seen them all absolutely self-destructing on skid row, chasing down the desire to be out of the pain of no dopamine. With no dopamine, you die. Mice will die from starvation or thirst if they have uh, dopamine knockout mice. If they don't have the ability to absorb the molecule into the cell through a transporter or a receptor or whatever it is, they don't get up. They don't get up, they wither, and they die. <clears throat> Humans who entertain sin and get a little pleasure hit from it, they're spiking their dopamine. Dopamine is toxic, it's lethal. So the cells downregulate the receptor. And that means that you have to flood your bloodstream with more of it to feel the high. And this is a sort of thing where if you don't have discipline and self-control, you chase after you chase after that sort of thing. And then your need for it gets bigger and bigger until the craving becomes your God. It becomes the thing that you serve. You spend all your time and effort, all your energy serving that thing. If I'm not mistaken, that grandfather was in the Marines. I'm 99% sure he was stationed in Jacksonville when, where my, my grandmother met him. The Marines is supposed to be where you get discipline. I was in the Marines and I had a lot of discipline, but when I got out of the Marines, I rejected discipline. God calls us to be disciplined. But I didn't want to listen to God, and I didn't want to listen to the Marine Corps. So I became undisciplined. I became a porn addict myself from a very young age. The consequence of listening to your flesh when it says go do something can be harming your great-grandchildren. I'm going to tell you right now that it, my mother, my identity issues, my narcissism my ad addictive behaviors, my um, very near suicides, only one was really close. And that's when the Lord came to me. He came to me as a fireball in the sky. But if my grandfather hadn't listened to the lust of his flesh and had sex with his own child, she might not have been the broken woman who could not be there to raise me. She might have been a complete human being. And I might have turned out completely different. This is not the blame game. I, I am blaming. I'm pointing the finger at Satan. This is a game that Satan plays. <clears throat> and he's allowed to do it. And you are allowed to chase after it. But the Bible makes this game very, very clear. That having no discipline, not being able to say no to the lust of your flesh, is a road to hell. And it's not just going to be a road to hell for you. It's going to be a road to hell for a lot of people. So my grandfather that I never met has surely never met his great-grandchildren. But they are absolutely wounded as a consequence of the consequence of my wounds that are a consequence of my mother's wounds that are a consequence of him serving the lust of his flesh. That is a generational curse. I insist that that stops with me. I am not going to pursue the lust of my flesh and let my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren be the ones who get to pay for it. If you want to be freed from all these things that have had a hold on you, subscribe to my channel. I've been in the pit. I'm going to the palace. I know the way to the one who knows the way. <laughs>
and I will lead you to him. His name is Jesus.